Welcome back, survivors. As you can see, we've got our first manufacturer set up here in the rebuild of the base. Um, and it is uh, producing heavy modular frames for us. Um, I'm going to let it sit idle for a little bit because I'm having a lot of power issues. When that thing is running, it's drawing so much power, um, it, it's crashing a whole base. So, and as you can see, I've got a bunch of these stupid backup generators running, these uh, biomass burners uh, burning tons of biofuel which I should be well off of biofuel the problem I'm running into is that I'm not getting enough coal to my generators because my conveyor belts are too slow I'm using the tier 3 conveyor belts um, so my coal generators keep running out of coal and shut off like one or two at a time and so my power grid is very unstable uh, you actually can see it right here you just walk up to anything and see you see how how it, it's well, this is the usage. I've actually finally evened out the stability of it because I just let it run. I turned everything off and just let the coal um, fill up in all the coal generators. But eventually it will come back and the um, capacity will be spiking as well. Whereas one generator, two generators shut off and run out of coal and it has to refill. And so. The, I'm very power unstable, so I've got to get fuel generators up and running because I'm just using way too much power right now. I've got fuel being produced over there. I've just got to start making the generators. And to do that, we need to unlock it uh, in the Tier 6. So I'm going to skip the rest of Tier 5 uh, for now anyways and go over here to the uh, expanded power infrastructure. This gives us two things that we desperately need. Fuel generators to create more energy. Um, more efficiently by taking up a smaller footprint, you know, whereas the coal generators, you, you need a lot of coal generators to get the same power you get out of a fuel generator. But also it gives us the conveyor belt, which will also uh, make our coal generators work like they're supposed to. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm producing all the coal I can with that Mark II uh, miner. It's just not getting into the uh, coal generator power plants fast enough like the, the conveyor belt is just not fast enough so we need to research this unlock this tier i think i've got everything let's see 75 modular frames got those check um 75 computers i've got those check and 200 motors got everything all right good i'm glad i counted correctly yay <laughs> throw all this in here and modular frames there we go blast off now we can make new um, milestone reached the fuel generator will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently yes yeah, so that's what we need and the conveyor belts yes now we can make the mark for conveyor belts um, I forget what it takes to make the oh we get the conveyor lift mark for too that's nice so it takes um, the encased uh, beams for that. Um, I've got quite a few of them over here in storage already, so let me grab a bunch of these. Let me immediately get my coal uh, up to uh, the where we need it, like uh, uh, getting enough coal into the coal power plants so that they're running efficiently. And then I'm going to go back and work on... I'll just grab a bunch of those. And I'm going to work on a couple of other conveyor belts that are slowing slowing things down. Um, I think my, if I'm not mistaken, it's my, is it the iron or the steel? One of these two is not getting in fast enough. Yeah. Right here. The steel is coming in very sporadic. And, and part of that is production issues. So what I want to do is get the uh, steel producing faster because it's not producing as fast as it should because the conveyor belts feeding it coal and iron ore are too slow so let me head over to my coal power plant and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about here just uh drive across the base i got this just tall enough right here i could just squeeze under it <laughs> and we'll drive over here i see i've got plenty of generators they're just uh not being fed coal fast enough um, the front four, front eight are okay usually. It's the back eight that um, are not getting coal fast enough because uh, by the time it gets back there, it's already been used up. So it's just not feeding it quickly enough. Let's see, because the generator coming in is feeding full. And, and you can't see it right now. It's obviously looks like everything is running full and fine because I literally shut everything off and let it just fill up with coal. 
uh, for like 10 or 15 minutes. I just shut everything off. But you see back here, um, they're probably starting to slow down a little bit. Well, they're not. Okay, that's good. Well, I'm going to make sure that they don't by upgrading the power, the, the conveyor belts. I'm going to make sure I never have this problem again. Let me go ahead and set that to a hot bar real quick. Conveyor belt mark four to the number four slot. There we go. So we were going to upgrade the conveyor belt feeding this. And you see, that's the conveyor belt feeding out to the um, steel generation where I'm making steel, and it's too slow as well. So, you know, that's just the main problem is I'm just, conveyor belts aren't fast enough. Let me upgrade that one right there, feeding everything. This one's part of that. That one's good. And then this one right here. All right, so now I've got coal coming out of here as fast as possible. I probably need to overclock this thing again. Let's see, so 480 coal per minute is being produced, and that conveyor belt can hold 450. So we're right on the edge of, uh, of its efficiency. So we're, we're producing coal just as fast as this belt can carry it off, um, if not just ever so slightly more, but that's okay. We still need a little bit to come over here and make sure that power plant always has power because that's the one that powers this miner. I did tie it into the power of the rest of the base because I was, you know, starving for electricity. So, level 4 conveyor belts are so wicked fast. So now we've got that. Now we should not have a problem feeding it. You see it's much more consistent right here now. So that will stay steady and feed coal very much more consistently to both of these Mark III conveyor belts. Um, I don't need to upgrade any of these because the problem was is right here is where it was slowing down at this splitter um, and it just wasn't able to feed it into the splitter fast enough to feed all of my generators and my steel production. So now that I've got that ironed out, let me go double check on my steel production and make sure it is running as efficiently as possible now as well. Yeah, okay. They're starting to catch up. I, I was sitting here watching them for a second, and the coal is catching up to the iron. Now, iron is fine. Um, I'm getting plenty of iron because I've got two iron nodes right here next to it, so they're able to feed plenty of iron into the system. It's the coal that was running out over here as well, which is slowing up the steel production. But they are now, they are catching up. The, uh, the amount of coal in the system is catching up, so we should be producing our steel ingots faster and everything is rolling along much smoother now. So now, you know, you fix something at the very beginning of the pipeline, it smooths everything out all the way down the section. So uh, everything is gonna be running smoother down at that end of the base. So now I can go into the base and fine tune any uh, production need there, any production needs there, and, and, and it'll be much smoother now. We got this um, running much more efficiently. Um, the next thing I need to work on is the actual power um, generators, the fuel the fuel generators, uh, and I'm going to build those actually in the base. Um, I, I've got a, plenty of room, <laughs> but, you know, plenty of room up here in the base. I could probably drive up under this one if I if I get the right spot. It might, uh, it's not quite tall enough. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to drive that thing up into my base anyways. So yeah, our, our steel should be producing much more efficiently now, and that... Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So I want to put this uh, fuel generator over. Let's see. I've got two two options. I could either put it in the corner over there or along this edge, and I am probably going to end up doing both depending on how many I need. Um, but I think for now I'm going to start on this edge because I want to save this corner for any more conveyor belts that I may need to come in here. So yeah, it's probably best to put it along this edge. Let's have it out here. Something like this. Have the fuel. The fuel's right there in that storage container. So have the fuel come out and feed along somewhere along this line right here. And feed our fuel generators because they're pretty big. Let me see. Power production, fuel generator. I've I've almost got everything I need to. I need to get. I mean, I need to gather everything I need to make them. But yeah, they are. How wide are these things? Oh, okay, they don't take up quite that much room. So I've got, I can place them about right here. Um, and I need to probably get four or five of these to start with, just to make sure everything's nice and smooth. I mean, I've, I've got enough coal producing power now, but I want to get these biomass, uh, these biofuel generators, just take them down, get rid of them. Um, for one, they're an eyesore, they're ugly, I just fill them down really quickly. But two, we're going to need more electricity very soon because we're going to be building more of these uh, 
uh, manufacturers. So let me gather all the materials. Let's get up a couple of these power plants set up and see if we can get our second manufacturer up and running here. All right, so as you can see, not only do I have my fuel generators set up over here, I've got three of them currently, and they're all you know, running on fuel, so the uh, power grid is much more stable. Got lots more power now. I've also got three manufacturers set up. I went ahead and set up two more. I've got one producing our um, computers right here in the center. Of course, the first one over there uh, was the first one we set up producing the um, frames, the heavy modular frames. This one's producing the computers here in the middle. And then this one on the end is now producing the batons, or I'm sorry, beacons, excuse me. Uh, so uh, you use those to make um, the Nobelisk. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to have some extras of those, just, to, you know, if we ever want to make some a lot more explosives. Um, and I actually need to study some explosives. Um, I think there's a research I can do. Uh, on that. Uh, but yeah, we got three fuel uh, generators set up and running, and, and they're producing plenty of fuel right now, or plenty of energy, I guess, electricity. Uh, my power grid is pretty substantial now, 1,350 megawatts. Haven't had any more spikes since we fixed the coal over there, and it's been uh, a couple of hours I've spent setting all this up. Well, maybe not quite that long, an hour. Uh, enough time for the coal to run out if it was going to, but it has not. I found an alternative recipe I wanted to check out. Um, for one thing, I found one for screws, right? Uh, you can make, I can get an alternative recipe to make screws. Um, I think it just takes iron ingots to craft them. So that would eliminate a production step. So that could be much more efficient uh, where it's not turning the, the iron ingots into rods and then the rods into screws. It just takes the ingots and turns them directly into screws. So that could be pretty efficient because screws are one of the things that holds you up a lot. Uh, but also, I found one for enriched coal, and I have no idea what this is. A much more efficient alternative for coal. So I'm going to select this one and learn it. And all it, all it takes is coal to, to unlock it. It takes 100 coal. I've got that. We throw it in there, blast off, smash that launch button, and new parts are unlocked. I guess enriched coal. So can we craft that over here or... Ah, it's made in an assembler. I can't actually craft it by hand. So this is compacted coal, um, which is used making... Uh, which is made with sulfur. So sulfur and coal to make compacted coal. Hmm. I do have some sulfur, but I don't think I found a substantial sulfur deposit anywhere. Let's see, do I have... Yeah, let's see, it's in here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, 41, I've got 41 sulfur. So I haven't found a significant source of sulfur, so um, without like a steady supply of it, there's no real way to make that compacted coal. And then that's another step I have to introduce, which... Depending on the assembly, I mean, this made, if it's made in assemblers, it could take a while. Depending on how efficient that that um, compacted coal is, it may not be that it may not be that beneficial. And it says it's made in six seconds. Um, depending on how much it makes every six seconds, it could be beneficial. It might not. I don't know. We'll have to play around with it and see. But that's basically taking the black powder recipe and turning it into compacted coal in the assembler. So. That's kind of cool. Um, we're making that already. I mean, we're making the, the black powder back there. I could just run back there and see, maybe set up another assembler back there and make a couple splitters and, and, and make compacted coal and see how much better it is, if any at all. Let's go play around with that and see. But before we do that, I wanted to unlock the jetpack. I, I forgot, before we go out there, I want to unlock the jetpack. I, I want to have more freedom when I'm exploring. Uh, so we need some uh, modular frames, motors, and computers. I think I've got... Oh, I don't, I've got all the computers and stuff on me. But there, I've got some in the production over there. Let's see, motors. I need, what, 150 of those. No problem there. And then you have this... The more complex these uh, manufacturers get, the less streamlined, the, the less uh, aesthetically pleasing these conveyor belts get because I'm having to route them a little bit differently here and there to adjust things. I think once I get everything set up, I can go back and readjust all my conveyor belts. You kind of want to start from the end, not from the beginning, to make your 
uh, conveyor belts as streamlined as possible. I guess if I'd have known exactly everything that I would have needed to begin with, I could have made them streamlined from the beginning. But since I wasn't exactly sure every single resource and how much of each one I would need, it, things kind of got messy here at the end. But for the most part, they're, they're, they're pretty clean and streamlined. Um, let's see, we needed... Let's see, split a stack. I, don't, I only need 75 of these. I don't need to be carrying around a bunch of them. Um, and then we needed... Was that it? Computers. I needed 25 more of these, so I'll split that stack, put 25 back in here. I don't need to carry around any extras with me. Let's go make this jetpack, and I'm going to need some fuel. Gosh, get off this stupid conveyor. <laughs> I need to make a conveyor belt to get over all this, or a platform to walk across some of that stuff. That'd be nice, because going that direction is fine. You just hop on a conveyor belt, but it's coming back that's a pain in the ass. But, uh... Let's see here. Um, I want to make the jetpack, Jimmy. Well, actually, you have to research it first, guy. Tier 6, jetpack. Select milestone, computers. Modular frames. And our motors blast off. Now we can make a jetpack. And I'm probably going to need computers to make that. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I only got more uh, storage space. That's nice. Um, okay, five circuit boards, 50 rubber. Let's um, make our jetpack, grab some fuel, and let's go see what kind of, uh, how impactful this compacted coal is going to be. All right, so I've got my compacted coal being set up here, uh, or being produced in this uh, assembler. And let's see, it uses 30 coal per minute, 30 sulfur per minute, so that's fine on a level one belts. Um, and it's producing compacted coal, what, 30 per minute. So it takes 30 of each, and it's producing 30 per minute coming out. So it's not exactly that fast. I'm pretty sure the coal generator or the the, the coal miners produce a lot more than that. So unless this stuff is really efficient, um, it's not gonna be worthwhile because you got to think about it it's, it's using energy to run this machine it's you know tying up two resources not that it's a huge deal because you know actually this machine right here has stopped making the black powder because everything is full I'm not currently producing anything with the black powder but unless this stuff is incredibly efficient it's not really worth it I mean, I'm, I'm gonna grab a little bit actually let me fill it up to a hundred let me let it fill up to a hundred I'll grab it and put like a coal generator down and see if it uses like a lot less than the uh, standard coal. And maybe it is worth it. Who knows? We'll find out. All right. So here's how I'm going to test this. This coal generator right here. I'm over here at my uh, coal power plant, my uh, major coal production here. And I removed the conveyor belt feeding this one that's coal. So it's almost out. And I'm just going to test. All right. We're seeing that it's making how much energy? 50 megawatts running on coal. So either the coal has to burn a lot slower, uh, the, the, the uh, compacted coal has to burn a lot slower, or it has to produce more power. Otherwise, it's not worth it, right? So the other way to test it is to run one right next to it. Let me just turn it off, make sure it's full of coal. Let me just remove that, make sure it is runs through its energy cycle. All right, turn that off so that it is ready to go. It's got 100 coal in it. <clears throat> Actually, let me just put, like, one in there. Split this stack. Just to make sure it's completely burned through what it's got. Alright, so there's no f disadvantage to one, one from the other. Alright, so there's 100 coal going into this one. And turn this one off. And then there's 100 compacted coal going into this one. 50 megawatts. 50 megawatts. So they both produce the same amount of power. Um, ah, it does burn much, much longer. We see it's going through coal at 5.4 seconds. Every 5.4 seconds, uh, we're burning one coal to produce that 50 megawatts. Well, right here, it's taking 12 seconds to burn this compacted coal. So it's twice as efficient as the standard coal, but it takes three coal to produce it. It's slightly better than, than double. But it takes three coal to produce it. Plus the electricity it takes to produce it. So it's not more efficient, right? If you do the math on it, if you think about it, three coal would burn 15.16 uh, point, uh, 16 point 
two seconds, right? 5.4 times 3 would be 16.2 seconds. So three coal would burn 16.2 seconds. Well, one compacted coal, which it takes three coal to produce, only burns 12. So it's not more efficient. It's not really worth it. That's interesting. It is an alternative recipe. I don't know that they're all supposed to be more efficient than their counterpart, but it is interesting to, to take a look at and study that. Um, you know, it. I suppose we could set up some coal generators out there where that sulfur is and everything. Set up a couple out there. Um, that way, that would be a nice comparing it to this it's not as efficient right to this setup here it's not nearly as efficient but out there where there's not a lot of space um it, it could work out there and, and, and that could be something we explore a little bit later to supplement our power uh if we ever needed more power we could supplement it with one of those but for now i'm just going to keep everything standard out here i'll hang on to this for well you know might as well just burn it <laughs> what the heck right Run my conveyor belts back, connect all this up. Um, and let's see what else we can unlock. I've got the jetpacks now. Um, let me just, uh, yeah, that's full. It's going to have to burn through all, oh, look, turn these back on, Jimmy. Turn these back on. It's probably going to have to burn through all of that before it accepts any regular coal. And that's fine. That's, that's fine. Um, let's go back. Let's see. Let's see what else we can unlock today. I feel like we got everything on tier four, but I think we got one or two things left in tier five we should unlock. All right, so a couple things I've been told I gotta go check out. First of all, we gotta hit these things with a truck. <laughs> oh my God, it just cut its legs right off from underneath it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, that was worth it. <laughs> Oh, I gotta do it again. I gotta do it again, right? Oh my god, that's so horrible! <laughs> I feel like a bad person, but I can't stop doing it! <laughs> One more time! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, so I've still got tears in my eyes from that poor cow elephant thing that we ran over with the truck, clipped his legs right out from underneath the poor guy. But the other thing I was told to do is get on one of these tier four belts and use the jetpack. Oh! Oh my gosh, guys, look at that! Oh, wow! Worth it! Thank you for the comments. <laughs> that is so cool. I want to go do it again. Try this one more time. Here we go. Here we go. And blast off. Oh, yeah. That is sweet. You keep your momentum all the way across. Look at that. You never slow down. I could cover the whole base in one. Whoa. All the way across that massive base in one fuel cycle of my jetpack that is amazing you never slow down you don't lose any momentum doing that that is too cool thank you so much in the comments guys i really appreciate that uh, i know it was it was andre for both of those i believe uh so yeah thanks man i appreciate that that was that was super cool uh but that's about all the time we've got for today um i'm not really gonna unlock anything else i'm just having fun right now <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Please uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.